hello guys uh, thank you so much for once again coming to watch this video and in the process of making the video solution of every official data insight question here it is one for you and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and the video because that's really going to be very helpful for me as uh, it attracts maximum audience and helps others too so now coming back to this question let's quickly discuss that how exactly can we pursue this question here the first and the foremost suggestion that I make every time is that never ever ignore what is given in the information of the question because that's going to make a platform for you to understand this information set. The graph here shows the result of a study in which adult members of Canada's First Nation groups, so only the adult members were asked to rate their feelings about various aspects of the quality of life of their family. That's given. Now this is the standard line that most of the questions of graph uh, actually give. Select from the drop down menu is the option that create the statement the most accurately represent the information given in the graph. Now let's quickly look at the graph. What exactly does it say? So the question says that percentage of off reserve first nations children whose parents or guardians rated their feelings about quality of life in their communities. So the parents or the guardians of those children are expressing their feelings about the quality of life in their community. Now there are these four categories, excellent or very good, good, fair or poor, and the dark is not stated. So now the question, let's just quickly read the question. Among, so these are the first two choices for the first drop down menu, which I have rated as uh, numbered as one and two. Among all the respondents, the aspect for which reported results and the second option is the children, among children of survey respondents. Among children of survey respondents, the aspect for which of their for which their parents or guardians indicated least overall satisfaction. Now, if you look at these two choices, here only you can just be very, very sure that two choice has to be the correct choice because the question clearly stated that this is the percentage of off reserve nation first children whose parents or guardians rated the feeling about the quality of life. So of course, it's not about all the respondents that's slightly vague, whereas it will be very much confirmed if you chose the second one, because among the children of survey respondents, because all the guardians are responding to the survey, the aspect for which the parents or guardians indicated least overall satisfaction. Now, the question mentions the least overall satisfaction. That means we are going to see that in which of these categories, the graph of this color, the bar of this color is the biggest one because this is the least satisfaction, either fair or poor and the topmost is excellent in between. This is good. So out of all these graphs, where do we see this color bar being the biggest one? So I clearly see here it is not, here it is not, here it is not the biggest. Out of the first four or five, these are almost the similarly long, but here this bar is the longest and the activity here involved is the cultural activity. So the question was indicated least overall satisfaction was actively involved in member. No, that's the second last one. No, safely involved in community. So safety involved in community. No health facilities. So facilities for children and health facilities. No, this bar is also not the biggest, the cultural activities. As we can see that the cultural activities has the biggest bar for the least satisfaction in this category. Therefore, the answer of this question should be the children of survey respondents and the cultural activity and if you combine these you will have a very good sentence form for example the among children of survey respondents the aspect for which their parents or guardians indicated least overall satisfaction was cultural activities that's how you get the answer now i hope you enjoyed this explanation and if you did please don't forget to subscribe the channel you see the icon right here and please don't forget to like the video that really helps Thank you so much for watching the videos and you can await for more such videos that I'm going to create on the similar uh, set of questions that are the official questions declared by GMAT Focus recently and I'm going to make all the videos of all the data insights questions so that you can actually benefit the most from them about how to approach them. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you then.